One of the exciting new features of Graphical Analysis Pro is the inclusion of sample experiments with embedded video. These experiments could be used in all sorts of teaching environments. You might imagine that in a virtual world, you might have students analyze the data in lieu of doing the labs themselves, or when you're back in the classroom, you might use it as a prelude for the students uh, who are going to be engaging in that particular lab or studying the topic. So they could do some analysis beforehand, maybe in a flipped classroom environment, and then they are able to do, to do the experiment themselves. So we'd like to uh, share this new feature with you. So let's go take a look. I've launched Graphical Analysis Pro and to view the sample experiments, we go to Untitled in the upper left, New Experiment. And on this screen, we see where it says Sample Experiments, See Experiments. And when we click here, we'll see a list of all of the sample experiments that are available in Graphical Analysis Pro. If we scroll down, we see that there are quite a few. And for this reason, uh, we've put a filter in so that we can hit filter and filter by subject matter. So you can go here and look at different subjects. So perhaps I look at uh, chemistry and I can see what's available for chemistry. So if I click back here, it allows me to see just the ones uh, related to chemistry. And then I can dismiss that if I want and be able to go and choose another matter. So I might go to physics and I want to try card on a ramp and uh, so I can go here. Uh, so what we see is on the right hand side, we see a video and the video is there to let the students see how the data were collected. And so if I come down here, I can replay just the video and we see that the cart was pushed up the ramp and allowed to come back down. And that's how the data were collected. So on the left hand side, we see the position graph and the velocity graph from the data collection. We can replay the event by coming up here to the upper right corner and we'll do enable replay. And what happens is if I come here and hit replay, this data and the video have been synced together such that they will play back together. And so we can see what happens there. So you might imagine asking your students to view this and then analyze it. So perhaps you ask them, what was the velocity of the cart at the very top of the position curve? And so they could come here and use the examine function by just clicking there and being able to so find a point, kind of move back and forth that they would like, and they can see, oh, I see that the velocity at the top would be zero. So that would be a fairly standard analysis for them to do. Now, another thing you might want to do is have it play back at a different speed. The default for this file is for it to play back in real time. We could slow that down. So maybe I make that uh, one half X. And so that I come here and when we do this, we're actually playing it back at half of the real speed. And so they can slow down the event and be able to do that. Now, there are other files where the data were collected over a long period of time, and you might actually want to speed up playback uh, so that uh, you can get a better feel for how the uh, data were collected. Now, another piece of analysis that would be fairly typical for file like this might be have the students find the acceleration and so they could come here and maybe they highlight the region of the velocity graph uh, when the cart was in motion and they could uh, come here and apply a curve fit and the slope of that would give them the acceleration. So I think you'd have to agree that the addition of the sample experiments helps make Graphical Analysis Pro, a powerful tool for teaching science. If you would like to explore the features in Graphical Analysis Pro yourself, it's available for download for five different platforms, Mac, PC, iOS, Android, and Chrome. And you can download a free 30-day trial from our website and give it a look for yourself.